The animal kingdom has no shortage of rivalries, and we're not just talking about the predator versus prey dynamic. No, things are a little more complicated out in the wild, especially when there's food or status involved. Welcome back to another episode of Forever Green. Before we dive in, we've got a question for you. We're going to show you a video right now, but only the first few seconds, and you have to guess which one wins this fight, the iguana or the snakes chasing him for food. Ready? Put your guesses in the comments, and we'll play out the rest of the clip at the end of the video. So, stick around for the answer. But for now, we're counting down 10 fearless, natural-born enemies in the wild. All right, let's dive in. Number 10, Lions versus Hyenas. If the Lion King has taught us anything, it's that lions and hyenas do not get along. Unless the lion is a jealous, power-hungry tyrant looking to overthrow his king brother. That rivalry is not just in the Lion King. Since the beginning of their time, lions and hyenas have been competing over the same hunting territories. And while in documentaries, lions are almost always portrayed as kings and hyenas as lowly thieves, the truth is that both species are known to steal from one another and are even known to attack each other's young. Lions are much stronger than hyenas, so you might think it's an unfair competition, but that's not the case every time. Lions may be stronger, but hyenas roam in packs and therefore are greater in number. Just check out this video of a pack of hyenas attacking a lone lion. Lions and hyenas share the same habitats and depend on the same prey for food. So, you can be sure that when they cross paths, it's not pleasant. This competition fuels animosity, and they are often hostile to each other for seemingly no reason. In many cases, rangers and tourists have found that male lions just take pleasure in harassing hyenas or killing hyenas. The lions have, in fact, got it down to an art form. They have learned to recognize the feeding calls of hyenas, and they often follow these calls to chase them away from their prey. It should seem like an abundance of prey would lessen the competition, but the opposite appears to be true. This bitter rivalry actually dates back to 37,000 years ago. That's right, the bad blood runs deep. Lion bones dating back to that era have been found in hyena dens in and around Germany bones that bear the bite marks of a spotted hyena. <laughs> Scientists believe these lions may have been killed in fights with hyenas over prey. And recently, similar lion remains were found in present-day hyena dens in Africa. Number 8. Mongooses versus Snakes It's not every day that a snake has to face a challenger. Generally, even the biggest apex predators know how to avoid these guys, but the mongoose is made of sterner stuff. This tiny carnivorous mammal, usually between 24 and 58 centimeters, takes on large venomous snakes far too regularly. And they emerge victorious most of the time. But how? They are primarily found in Africa, and they eat anything from birds and small rodents to reptiles and frogs. They even on occasion like fruits, nuts, and seeds. And sometimes, they'll open up bird eggs by throwing them at a tree or some solid object. Given how they share some similar prey with snakes, these two enter into a confrontation sometimes. Mongooses have special acetylcholine receptors that make them resistant and even immune to snake venom, giving them an edge over their enemy. And their technique isn't too bad either. They dart and faint at the snake at lightning speed. So the snake is forced to strike repeatedly until they tire themselves out. Then, the mongoose goes straight for the head and bites it off. Plus, their thick, puffy coats prevent short fanged snakes from hitting their mark. They are fearless hunters and attackers. You won't find them hiding or slyly walking around the way lions stalk their prey. Number seven. Bears versus Wolves If a bear runs into a pack of wolves, most likely they will try to avoid each other since a fight would benefit no one. But if there's food involved, 
you best believe there's going to be a battle right to the end. Bears are larger than wolves, obviously. They can be anywhere from 5 to 8 feet, and they weigh 800 pounds. As opposed to wolves, which are generally 63 inches long and weigh 175 pounds. A lone wolf running into a bear stands no chance, but a pack of wolves? Well, it's anyone's guess. Here, a single bear faces off against 11 wolves. This video is taken in Yellowstone Park, where the wolves were only recently introduced into the ecosystem. The wolves, known as the Junction Butt Wolf Pack, had just brought down an elk and left the kill. When they returned, the group found a grizzly bear eating their dinner. Of course, a standoff ensued with the pack circling the bear. After a strained few minutes, the wolves slink away, unwilling to risk their lives for an elk. In any case, bringing an elk down is no big task for a whole pack. I'm sure they found another one in no time. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Number 6. Elephants vs Rhinos If you think it's just apex predators competing in the wild for food, think again. With more than enough food to go around, you'd be right in assuming that there's no reason for these two plant-eating giants to mess with each other. But something called a must period in elephants can quickly mess with that peaceful coexistence. Rhinos are quite commonly killed by elephants, particularly young bull elephants, in competition for food. In a study conducted in 2013, researchers from Australia took a close look at their eating habits through the seasons. Turns out, rhinos and elephants ate in the same regions at the same times of the year. But rhinos munched on different grasses depending on if the elephants were present. Without elephants around, the rhinos ate more diverse plants like succulents and woody shrubs. But when the elephants were near, they limited themselves to grasses. That just shows that their presence affects foraging opportunities for rhinos. If one of them decides to be brave and venture out to try more exotic foods, they might suffer a kick in the head. And needless to say, that's not something you want. Elephants range from 8 to 13 feet and weigh up to 14,000 pounds, and they can eat 300 pounds of food a day. Compared to that, the largest rhino is the white rhino at over 5,000 pounds, 13 feet long and 6 feet tall. They have a 2 inch thick hide and horns up to 5 feet in length. They have a fighting chance against hippos, hyenas and even lions. But an elephant? No shot. No shot. Elephants are usually peaceful creatures, but if the rhino messes with its food, it can take down the rhino and smash it with its great weight. This tactic is used against not just rhinos, but pretty much any animal in the wild. Elephants are fully capable of stomping a killer croc to death or trampling on a lion. Case in point, these guys know how to throw their weight around. Number 5. Pythons versus Alligators Burmese pythons are found in Southwest Asia, but have also been known to live alongside the American alligators in the Everglades National Park. Male American alligators can reach 11.2 feet and can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. Although that is on the rarer side of the scale, Burmese pythons, on the other hand, range from 16 to 23 feet and weigh 200 pounds. This intimidating snake will kill its prey by constriction, squeezing it until it suffocates to death. They're also fantastic swimmers and are able to stay underwater for up to 30 minutes at any one given time. When coming up against an alligator in its habitat, the one hurdle the python must overcome is the tough bony armor plates of the reptile, something that some pythons don't manage to do. It's fair to say that American alligators and Burmese pythons will rarely fight each other. But when they do, either one can win the fight and eat the other. The only difference is that the alligator will chew his food up, while the python will swallow the reptile whole. 
Did you already know that pythons and alligators fight? Well, our number two choice may come as more of a shock. Number four, killer whale versus white shark. So, how do deep sea predators keep busy while the lions and hyenas are duking it out? Working out a rivalry of their very own, of course. It's hard to believe anyone would challenge an apex predator such as the great white shark. The great white is a beast when it comes to hunting seals and penguins, and have occasionally been known to attack not only humans, but boats too. Whales in comparison are generally seen as peaceful giants, with the exception of the ruthless killer whale that has more than earned its name. These highly intelligent 12,000 pound predators compete over the same hunting grounds as their razor toothed 2,000 pound rival and will not shy away from having a confrontation if it comes down to it. Before placing your bets on the outcome of such a gruesome fight, check out this story. Observers in the Farallon Islands once witnessed a giant orca stunting a great white shark by ramming it on its flank before taking it from behind, turning it upside down and drowning it. Number 3. Honeybees vs. Giant Asian Hornets As the name suggests, giant Asian hornets are huge hornets, and their sting feels like being jabbed by a red-hot needle. While honeybees have a toxin that's more lethal than that of the hornets, Honeybees only sting once, injecting a much lower dose. The hornet, however, stings repeatedly, delivering over 10 times more venom. The venom in one giant hornet could kill 10 mice, and a small colony could kill a 150-pound animal. On average, these hornets kill 30 to 50 people a year in Japan. So, if it's capable of that much damage to a mammal, imagine what it could do to a honeybee. These guys like to feed honeybee larvae to their young, which begins one of the most incredible wars in the whole animal kingdom. Their attack starts with a slaughter phase, where they enter hives looking for larvae and destroy everything in the process. They cut the bees' heads off with their mandibles, and when the bees try to fight back and sting their enemies, they cannot pass through the hornet's strong armor. One hornet alone can take down 20 bees per minute, and in 90 minutes, they can destroy an entire colony's workers. So, at this point, you're probably thinking, well, there's nothing bees can do to defend themselves, so it's not a fair fight at all, but they have tricks of their own. When a hornet finds a hive, the bees don't try to stop it. Instead, they let it in. They then surround the hornet, forming a bee ball, and vibrate, heating up the hornet until it is cooked. This is one of the most spectacular defense mechanisms in nature. Asian giant hornets may be violent and ruthless, but the honeybees win this round. It is now time to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you ever come across some bizarre or fascinating image, you can send it to us and we'll investigate. Today's image is of a hawk entangled with a snake it's trying to pick off the ground. We did a little digging and found that snakes and hawks are sworn enemies. Check out our number two spot. Hawks versus snakes. This video shows a young, red-tailed hawk and a four-foot bull snake go head to head. Bull snakes are constrictors and they mainly eat rodents but also prey on birds and lizards. Hawks mostly hunt mammals like mice and rabbits, but they will make a meal of snakes too if necessary, even if they weigh over 5 pounds. The men in the video intervened to untangle them, so at least here, we know that both the hawk and the snake were left alive. Had there been no intervention, it's anyone's guess who would have won. When bull snakes detect live objects that look too big to be a prey, they assume the object is a predator and take defensive action. And on the other hand, you have the hawk, strong, powerful birds with one of the largest talons of all predators. If the snake happens to be venomous, the chances of survival look somewhat slimmer for the hawk. Before we take a look at the next one, we've got a quick challenge for you that will take you just 5 seconds. Go ahead and subscribe to the Forever Green channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Number 1. Polar Bear vs. Walrus 
Walruses fight only to defend themselves against a hungry polar bear. Polar bears are giant beasts weighing 1,600 pounds, and they usually hunt seals, unless food is scarce and it's getting cold. Walruses are a great source of fat, with 18% blubber that gives them a 10 centimeter coating around their body. It's enough to keep the polar bear warm in the harsh cold, that is, if it can manage to catch one. A walrus is not an easy prey to bring down. They range from 7.25 to 11.5 feet. It can weigh up to 1.5 tons, which is twice the weight of the polar bear. They also have two three-foot-long tusks that can be used as powerful weapons. When these two lock heads, anything could happen. The bear is stronger and a natural apex predator, but many polar bears are found dead or severely wounded by walrus's tusks. And, as promised, Here's the rest of that clip of the iguana and the dozens of snakes. Yep, the iguana managed to escape the jaws of these predators, and by kicking it away no less. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget